Well, hello everyone, it's Takuyi here, and today I am joined by a certain special someone. Joya? Joya, say hello. Hello. So everyone, this is my three and a half year old daughter, Joya, and today she is going to be choosing all of the decisions that we are going to be making today. Something for an extra special nation, the only true nation that could possibly ever be controlled by a three-year-old and somehow be more stable than it was in real life. At least I hope so. I am of course talking about none other than uh, Spain, because Spain is one letter away from pain, and that is probably what we're going to be experiencing. Isn't that right, Joya? Mm -hmm. But of course, since nothing in life is absolutely certain and we are here for chaos, you know what that means, Joya? That means no historical focus. We're gonna let the world do whatever the heck it wants. Do you like chaos? Yeah. Yeah, you do, that's my girl. As I'm sure the majority of people know, when it comes to Hearts of Iron games, Spain is something that goes through a, a little bit of a civil war. It's a little bit of a chaotic start. So, Joya, first question first. Are we going to go a Great Spain or the Popular Front? Which one do you want to do? Right or left? Right. Right. The Popular Front. Okay, looks like we're doing that one then. Are we doing that the last one today? Yeah, looks like we're doing that one today because that's your choice. Do you want to be popular? So knowing that we're going to run into a little bit of trouble, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get our basic industry underway, which I hope to God that we're not going to be so severely affected by. And we're going to try to produce as many guns as we possibly can. In addition to that, let's go ahead and focus on some military factories. We know we're probably going to control Madrid, so we're going to put all of our focus in there. I think, I hope. I, I don't know at this point. This, this could go any other way. I, I'm guessing that we're probably going to fail horribly. But maybe that won't happen with Joy in charge. Joy, are we going to win? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, you sounded very uncertain from that whole thing, but let's let's see what happens. Now, Spain from the beginning is uh, definitely not stable in any way, shape, or form. We got national strikes, we got a lot of political violence, and a disloyal military. Recipe for a true successful state, I'm sure. But with the popular front done, that means now we're going to have a couple options here. So, Joya, in order to lead this country to greatness, are we going to choose to go ahead and get a bunch of poorly trained troops or a few really good troops? Really good troops. A few really good. Are you? Do you like elite soldiers? Do you like strong things? Yeah. Yeah, you do. And there we go. There's the uh, there's the beginning of the power struggle. So now we're gonna figure out what it is that we could do from here. Do I know what's gonna happen? No, I absolutely do not. So I guess we're gonna start making concessions to the left immediately, because who knows what we're gonna see. And they're already starting to make some uh, some moves over here. So we're gonna affect that side. Oh, great. Germany is also in a civil war. That's gonna be pleasant for us, I'm sure. That is automatically going to become way more difficult to try and manage. Do I know what's going on through all of us? No, because I haven't even done a proper playthrough of this in the first place. All right, Joya, time for the next focus tree here. Uh, we only have a couple options that we can choose from in the first place. So I guess there really is no real choice for us. We just have to continuously go down this path and figure it out until we decide what exactly we're going to be doing. What's that? That is the microphone. Yes, and you talk into the microphone just like that, Joya. So now we're going to train the Union Youth. Joya, do you want to be trained in communism? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. All right, well, we are, uh, we're going to start to see some, a little bit of chaos here, but I guess that is exactly what's going to be happening. Um, imprison Primo de Rivera, I guess. Okay, add 37 plots. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Anything we can try to do to keep ourselves a little bit more stable, I think. Even as people around us are getting assassinated. And now there's a communist coup in Ethiopia. I think that's going to be par for the course with what's going to be happening here. At a royal wedding in Brazil. Looks like Portugal is also going to be getting a little bit spicy then. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Are you whistling at me while I'm doing this? What are you doing over here? I'm playing. You're playing? All right, there's the youth trained now to enlarge the weapon caches and do whatever we can. Oh boy, it's going to become way harder to actually manage any of this around me. Um, we better just maintain some degree of control here, I think. Do I know what's happening? No, I barely have done anything with Spain in the first place. I have no idea what's going to happen. All right, there's the weapon caches. Now to distribute arms to the people here. Do whatever we can. Yeah, Joya, while we were doing this here, did you find a Pokeball? Yeah. And what does a Pokeball do? Uh, well, a Pokeball catches Pokemon. It catches Pokemon. Yes, it does. And well, I guess there goes the Spanish Civil War. So all that happens. And so we managed to try and hold on to it as long as we can. Now, the real question is, Joya, what is it that we're going to do? Are we going to stay true to our democratic principles? Are we going to support the working man? Or are we going to go through communal revolutionary struggle? The working man. The working man. Okay. Death to the phalangists. I guess this is what we're going to do. Death to the phalangists. Okay. <laughs> Looks like that's going to happen then. All right, Joya, now, are we going to arm the workers or are we going to demand ministerial positions? 
Do you want a minister position or do you want to arm the workers? Mm, I want to arm the workers. Arm the workers. You are a violent revolutionary, aren't you? Yeah. And of course, we're immediately going to help some or get some help from the Soviet Union. And we're going to figure this out. We actually are not in as bad of a position as we otherwise could be. We actually have a lot of troops. This is pretty good from what I can see. Mm, what is that? That's, that's the spinning wheel. Well, the spinning wheel is what I use on stream for when people uh, sometimes donate subs to me. Oh, does it spin? Yeah, it does spin. Spin it. Well, do you want to show? Do you want to show everyone how you spin it? Yep, that's how you spin it, Joya. <laughs> yeah. We find entertainment in the littlest things, I guess. Well, I guess we're gonna take all these guys, put them right here on the front line, and uh, prepare for some little bit of fun. We are actually in a phenomenally stronger position than I would have anticipated. Because wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 62 versus 28 to 81. Actually, they do have a pretty strong force over here. Impending anarchist uprisings. Okay, well, that's... Yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a problem to us potentially here. Sun volunteers. Yes. Soviet Union sent me 10 divisions to volunteer. Yes. All right. Let's try and see if we can cut through here. If we can cut off some of their units and immediately begin to uh, destroy them, the better. All right, let's try and get all this done. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? What else can we do? Is there anything we do to cut them off over here potentially? Maybe here, if we could just kind of break on through, maybe we can cut them over on this side. Civil War frontline solidify. Okay, so we're not actually gonna be able to do anything now. All right, we're gonna need to start planning for where we want to attack. The largest territory in which we can probably fight is gonna be over here in Aragon. So why don't we go ahead and do that one here? We can only do one at a time. So let's see what we can do while we wait for the anarchy to happen and not just because this whole thing is being controlled by a three-year-old because yeah that is gonna slow down our attacks to literally nothing that's awful that's absolutely awful and there's the soviet volunteers uh, i'm sure the german ones are also going to be sending some stuff over here soon but in the meantime we just continue to rack up copious amounts of experience i guess if we could just hold out up here for as long as we possibly can let our troops defend become elites maybe 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 they'll be okay maybe i don't know this is getting a little dicey up here. There we go. Okay, there's a whole section cut off. That is three full divisions. Wait, is this? Okay, that is two basic units, but it's also one of their elite units, one of the few ones that they actually have. That is actually excellent. The more that we can bleed these units out, the better if we can just try to last. Probably train out a good seven more units over here. Just uh, the more that we can allocate to our front line, the better. Especially with that week of a position that we're going to be in up here, I think. Hello. 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 All right, it's time to choose the next focus here. So, Joya, are we going to get some international help? Are we going to demand the ministerial positions? Are we going to strengthen the USCO Guardo State? I, I don't know what a lot of this stuff does, Joya. Here, point at which one you want. I want to do this. Oh, you want to do the one where you strengthen? You want to get some more soldiers? Yeah. You want to send them into battle? Yeah. So, Joya, let me ask you this then. Do you want Stalin or do you want anarchy? I want Stalin. You, you want to support Stalin? Uh-huh. Why do you want to support Stalin, Joya? Because I love that. Because you love it. Yeah. Be honest, Joya. Did you choose Stalin because he has a star, a big red star? Yeah. Yeah. I figured that would be the I case. Stars. And you love stars. Hopefully we can just wipe all these troops out because, let's see, preparing the offensive. We're still trying to get that done, but that wipes out a whole group of soldiers. Excellent. Okay. It is still fairly even on both sides, but we are going to outnumber them and outpower them, I think. If we could just kind of try to force our way through here, maybe we'll do something a little bit more. We are actually holding out pretty well here in the north, I think, from what I can see. Even as everything down here is very slow, very stale, nothing, nothing is happening. And now I guess we demand the ministerial positions and uh, finish that off here as per the orders of going Stalinist. Oh, whoa, th these guys are actually going to be able to hold out up here. What? Oh, they are, they are never going to fall now. We are actually going to be able to hold that entirely. Huh. That is that is actually remarkably strong up here. This spawns this whole defensive unit, which is going to waste a whole bunch of their soldiers. All right, 98. If we just kind of wrap up through there. There's that little territory. Okay, so that one's done. If we can just take this territory. We will be much better. Oh, there goes that part. Okay. All right. Go over here. Wrap these troops up. And we'll be able to take this last part, I think. And we'll try to focus through on this side, too. If we trap two, great. If we trap a bunch more... Even better. Oh, there goes the Junta de Clermont, Mexico. You know, we're not the only Spanish-speaking people with a bit of a civil war. 
Oh, 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 we got to catch him here. Don't let him get through. If we could just break through. There we go. Last little part trapped. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hold him back here. And that is a whole bunch more divisions that are trapped over on this side now. We'll be able to clean up a whole section of this because with Zargoza taken, that means that we now have the supply. And Austria votes to unite with Hungary. And Poland also declared war on the Polish Republic. Wow, Europe, you're looking very more colorful than I expected you to be right now. And there we go. That's all these Spanish units wiped. What does that put us at? 13,000 versus 84. It's not even close. It's not even close in terms of numbers here. It really isn't. Oh, we're going to trap the entire thing of Popolono up here, I think. <laughs> the, the entire army up here is going to be trapped, I believe. It's a man in a serial positions. That thing is done. Excellent. Which means we can go down here and time for the Stalinist doctrine. Okay. Yep, there they go. Okay, excellent. Real question is, am I actually going to make it through in time? I don't know if I will or not. I wonder what would happen if I just activated everything. Like, it's saying that we're victorious, or like that we're supposed to be. So let, let's see what happens. There's seven additional units. We'll go ahead and spawn those out, put those in. All these are getting to be great veteran status, and we can just keep on pumping out more stuff. If we could just finish all these troops off here in Navarra before we uh, inevitably end up getting destroyed, I would appreciate it. Because how much time do we have left here? 46 days. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we have enough time. All right, Joya, so when we were working on this yesterday, you chose the Stalinist path. Here's the question for you. What are we going to do next? What do you want to go to? Point at it. You can do any of these ones that are flashing. So we could do international brigades. We could do secularize the new state. We could do an army of all classes. We can reload. You want that one? You want to get an army of all classes? Why do you want an army, Joya? Because I love that. Because you love armies? And what do you want to do after that one? Point at what you want. Which one? Can you point at it, Joya? Which one do you want to do? Why are you looking at What are you doing? Why are you being silly? <laughs> Which one do you want to do? You want to fortify the iron ring. Okay, I, I don't know how much that's going to help us. But okay, I guess that's what we'll go ahead and do. Well, I guess for any three-year-old, it's important to learn the virtue of sharing, I guess. Well, I mean, we're probably going to need the population, so let's 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 see what let's see what we can do because we're going to throw everything away. I'm guessing. Oh shoot! Wait, oh, I forgot to do any of this. Infantry expert, yes. Oh, and, oh wait, hold on. Maybe I should have not spent that and waited to get par partial mobilization. You know, it's fine. Ten percent attack and defense. That's perfect for my infantry. This is exactly what I want. There we go. Now we're starting to get some doctrine going. Honestly, superior firepower, best thing we can do. Get some additional attack going. Anything we can get to support our front lines. And now let's see, am I able to move closer in here? I am, I am doing pretty good. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. As soon as we drive those back, we should be good. How many days left do we have? 37, come on, please, can we do this? Oh, there's that entire group of soldiers wiped. Awesome, that was like what? Another 20,000, excellent, excellent. Now if we can just focus all efforts on this side and really drive them back here. In 30 days, are we going to be able to do this? Navarra Offensive, is that going to be even worth it? I don't know. I don't know. Let's try. Let's try and see if we can get the Navarra Offensive and see what we can do. Wait, Italy declared war on the Italian Union. Wait, what? What? Oh, my God. Well, the fascists aren't going to get nearly as many help because, hey, hey, we're going to get some socialist help, I think. There we go. There's a whole section cut off. If we can get these guys next, come on. I know that we're probably not going to make it in time, but if we can cut off this section, that's three more divisions that will be trapped. Communists are about to rise up in like what 12 days no 10 days shoot come on are they gonna make it in time i don't know if i'm gonna get this encirclement oh french commune too are we gonna have another please tell me this is gonna be a communist world i'm really hoping we get a communist world yes yes cut these guys off we have five days left are we gonna be able to crush them i don't know i really wish that i could have gotten the crackdown but that is not gonna work amazingly enough my three-year-old has done remarkably well for guiding the spanish civil war Yep, okay, wait, hold on. National Spain declares war on Carlist. Whoa, wait, that was a Carlist uprising? And now we're about to have an anarchist rising. Oh, that's gonna split everything up even more. Yep, there goes that group. Uh, now we're gonna be able to wipe out this group, and I think, honestly, we're gonna be really secure. Ah, yep, there goes the anarchist uprising. Yeah, I figured that would happen. That, yeah, yep, 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 that was gonna happen. Uh, it took a fairly large subsection of my area, but it, it's okay, it's okay. We can handle it, we can handle it, I think. Bigger army here. Small army up top, try to surround and destroy these few units and then split off one of these forces so we can go on and take the anarchists. Yep, which this is going to make it very spicy here. Hopefully we will be able to hold this along the line. That is the majority of the Carlist force is gone as well as Free France. <laughs> it looks like to be a commie world, but I don't know what we're going to be seeing down here, to be honest. Excellent. Now with Carlist Spain, which Spanish directly flipped that over because I guess that's the direct result of nationalist Spain. That's 188,000 losses. 
Oh boy, that is pretty significant, not gonna lie. All right, there's an army of all classes. Next step, what was it? Fortify the, the iron ring, which doesn't doesn't really help us at this point. But you know, don't don't question the three year old strategy. It, it it's it's a perfectly perfect perfectly legitimate thing. Restoration of Austria Hungary and Integralist Brazil. We are we are some seeing some interesting things in this world. I think. There we go. There's one group wiped. Come on, just a little bit more. Actually, maybe maybe we can just make a little beeline for it here and cut off some more units. There we go. There we go. Maybe cut off a whole other section. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Actually, that stopped us. That stopped us. Maybe we aren't, we aren't going to be able to break through. And that's Fortify the Iron Ring. Uh, next step, well, we're actually doing pretty damn good here. This is impressive. Okay, Joya, so we fortified the Iron Ring, and actually what we ended up doing is making a, a ring of fleshy bodies as our kind of wall. Hey, they're walking. They are walking. They're walking into gunfire. See, look, look, they're fighting. These are our people. These are our soldiers. They're fighting. All right, now the next step in here is to choose the next part of the focus tree. So, Joya, what are we gonna do next? Choose that one. You want you do you want to you want to solidify government control? Do you, do you like being in control of everything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you do. Do you always yell at mommy and daddy that we're not allowed to take the snacks that we bought for the family, but you've claimed entirely for your own? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it all by myself. Yeah, you want to take it all by yourself. Yep. My daughter is a true communist, I guess. And what do you want to do after you take control, Joya? Do you want to get some international brigades, get some science, or get some gold? The science? You want to, you want to get some science? Do you like science? Yeah. Yeah. But do, which one do you like better, history or science? Science! Sci Wait, it's spinning. It is spinning. That's the microphone that you're attacking right now. <laughs> what are you laughing for? <laughs> You shamed me from not choosing history, and now you're going to go and attack Daddy's microphone. Okay. This is honestly just... This is just too perfect. So fitting. All right, another offensive to prepare for because we're doing, again, literally like one in two damage here the entire time. I hate this. Oh, wait, what? The Soviet Union declares on Romania. Wait, no, 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 no. The volunteer forces that they gave me are gone. Why? Why? Why would you do this? No! Wait, now Romania, the Soviets are at war with Czechoslovakia and Romania. Oh god, they're going to blitz through Romania and then they are going to have a, a hell of a time dealing with Czechoslovakia now. Oh god, oh god, this is all going south now. Greater Portugal. Dear lord, what is with all the civil wars in this world? It's like this entire game is being controlled by a three-year-old. I don't think we're supposed to be at 25% world tension when it's not even 1938 yet. There we go, finish these troops off. That is a whole section of the enemy wiped. Excellent. Gotta get some more infantry equipment, get that going. Let them go ahead and attack us, that is fine. If we can push on through this area and cut them off, if we can just rush and take Barcelona, perhaps they will be done. There's our solidified government control. Yes, a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union because I have a feeling that they're gonna be very, very aggressive. And then we'll get science. Actually, wait a minute, could we, could we, could we potentially just like go in here, rush through this and cut them all off? I don't know, I don't know, maybe we could, maybe we could, maybe we could surround the enemy. All right, come on, we just cut off this whole section. We are doing remarkably well and well, okay, we're not stable. Not stable, Spain is not stable. <laughs> it's definitely not a thing. All right, there we go, get all this done. Fantastic, fantastic. How's the world looking? Very different colors. Are the, are the Romanians actually making a little bit of ground? <laughs> I mean, I know it's 1938, so the Soviets are not exactly in the best position, but damn. All right, well, fuck it, we balling, we balling. Let's just go, let's just go. Plan the attack and let's start, let's get it going. Because that is invite Soviet socialist, or no, no, socialist scientist. The people that think that they think so good when they, in reality, don't in history. It's never worked. There we go. There is the defense council that is wiped out on the side. Excellent. All right. Which means that we can assign these troops over here and send them over to prepare some fun. Yeah, at this point, it's just about mopping up the enemy. There, there, there really is nothing they can do. This went remarkably well for all being in the hands of a three-year-old. All right, Joya, so so far we are doing really well in the Civil War. We've taken over a lot of the territory. So what is it that you want to do next? Do you want to secularize the new state? Do you want to get some brigades? Whoa, put me on this way so I can see it. Oh, so that you can see it? Okay, you can go over here. What do you want to pick? So many things here. There are so many things here. It's really hard to pick, isn't it? Okay, well, let me give you your options here. You could do international brigades. I want you could, this one. Oh, you do want to do international brigades? Okay, I guess I guess we'll go ahead and start that. And then when we finish with that one, Joya, which one do you want to do next? Do you want to do you want to get rid of religion? Do you want to re-educate the people? 
Do you want to steal some gold? What do you want to do? I want to get some gold. You want to get some gold? Why do you want to get gold? Because I love the gold. Because you love gold? Oui. Oh, my daughter is a communist and she is also greedy. So I guess that's, uh, <laughs> it makes sense. This is going to be a slaughter. This is, this is all that's left. Yep, that is them wipes. And now push, push my brothers. Final goal, final goal, La Corona. Do the La Macarena, except it's, it's, it's crushing through lots of people. All right, there's International Brigades, awesome. Which, the, the whole thing is kind of pointless because doing that now, when the Civil War is about to end, you know, I'm not going to question my daughter's loyalty. Maybe she just really wanted that extra thousand people, maybe. But now it's time to steal some gold, which actually I'm not sure is going to matter because as soon as we take that, will the gold be, will that end here? We, we did it. We finished it. The Civil War's over. Are we going to... Is that is that pointless? Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that pointless. We, we, we did it. It finished. Um, It did all of it. It's over. Huh. Oh, crap. <laughs> Joya, your plan didn't work. So you can see. Okay, Joya, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, your plan didn't exactly work there in the end. A lot of the stuff that we tried to do... um. It, it, it timed out because we finished the Civil War. You did it. So, hey, congratulations. You won the Civil War. I did? Yeah, you did. I, I hear the confusion in your voice, and I, I, I wonder the same thing. So, I guess now we ne just need to choose what it is that we are going to do next as you pretend to drink out of the rattle from when you were a baby. Do you want to go for the attack, or do you want to focus on fixing your economy? Fixing the economy. Are, are you a are you a communist that cares about the economy? Yeah. Well, I guess there's the first time for everything then. So you want to do this one? Yeah. All right. You want to collectivize the industry. Okay. <laughs> All right, Joya. And once we collectivize our industry, what do you want to do? Do you want to connect the country? Do you want to transplant the Soviet industry? Or do you want to um, re-educate the populace? You want to re-educate the populace? Do you want to put people in re-education camps? Oh, dear God. Okay. Um, guys, I don't even know whether or not this thing can air at this point. I genuinely worry for the future of my family at this point. All right. Well, Soviet recovery aid. I guess we, um, I guess we get this fixed, right? Actually, are there any fascist powers that are peer? I don't think that there are, except for like the Italians, like the Social Italiana. Huh? We, we we eradicated fascism. The only fascist state in the entire world now, I think at this point, is you got Japan, right? And it's puppets. And then Portugal. Oh, actually, wait, no, I take it back. There's another fascist state. We have the Mexican Junta immediately by the United States, which I can only imagine is going to go not, not, not so well, I'm sure. All right, there's the Soviet recovery for aid. And then can we wait? I can't do this until I'm in a faction with the Soviet Union. So wait, we have to aim for that. Can I, can I not join the Soviet Union? Is that not is that not a possible thing? Oh, no, we're, we're close, but I can't actually join the... Wait, what? We need our relations to be higher. That's so weird. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Joya. I have to re-educate the population first before we do anything. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. No! Why? Why? I was just trying to join you. Wait, now which one do I support? Oh no, wait a minute, is the SSR also at war? Is the SSR also at war? No, 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 no. They have a non-aggression pact with Romania. They're only at war with the Soviets. Oh no, I can't do any of these because I can't join in a faction with the Soviet Union. So none of that is going to work. So quick, let's, let's just create like a single, I don't know what infantry thing. Yeah, let's just create a single thing of infantry. Make that infantry template one. We gotta crank out a bunch of these so that we could send over volunteers. All right, 100 shitty cheap divisions. All right, we, we, we're going to have to exploit the hell out of this. Well, she said to fix industry, and we can't do any of this. So I guess that means nationalize industry? We're going to get our economy going? I, 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 I can't. I have to do this because I can't do anything else. Because the things that I've chosen to do, by her own words, I'm now screwed and can't do. Okay, so let's see. We drop all 100 of these divisions out, put them in a big old thing here. And we'll just assign them everywhere. None of that, none of that matters, you know? Well, the funny thing about this civil war is it just broke out here is that the SSR has a non-aggression pact with the Romanians. The Romanians are probably going to completely eat the Soviet front line now since the Soviets are now split in this war. Uh, so if that is the case, uh, SSR, do you, do, you, do, you want, do you want some help? <laughs> do you want some, like, friends? <laughs> I think that I can help you in here. <laughs> because now all of my options have switched over to supporting the SSR. <laughs> God damn it. 
So let's uh, let's see what six extra better trained divisions can do over here to help. You know, considering that there's literally no supply line here at all. Well, I guess now the only action for us to do is just slowly trying to make our way in here with zero supply whatsoever. We, uh, we literally have nothing. <laughs> and just try and surround and destroy as many of their units here as we can. Oh, the Italian Union was annexed. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. The fascists won their civil war here. I was not expecting that. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm guessing all the Soviet aid that was going for them disappeared because now the Soviets are in their own little civil war. And the Hispanic Alliance is a thing now. Okay. Was not anticipating that. Oh, there's, yeah, there's a Soviet unit wiped. Okay, excellent. That's what we want. It just does kind of suck that we have no means by which we can control any of this. The, the, the Romanians are going to make huge, huge gains down here, all things considered. I don't know why the line is split among all these different areas. Uh, yeah, the SSR is going to completely dominate things. And is there, like, anything else that we could do? No, there's no focuses. We're completely locked out. There's nothing we can do. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, no, there is. There is. Oh, shoot. I should have given Joy a choice on this. We can start to secularize the new state. That's fine. That's fine. Our stability totally could take a hit. Definitely. We're, we're definitely not at zero yet. Oh, wait, hold on. There goes the SSR. They took it. They finished things off. There is once again peace in the world. Great. That lovely, lovely. The end of the Soviet Civil War, which is actually phenomenally quick considering what was going on. I, um, I think the Kingdom of Romania and that whole war that they had started ended up actually helping. Now, this is going to sound really weird, but despite the fact that we've done uh, a historical, this is a phenomenally pretty map. Like nothing in here has really changed. It's just like the color palette of everything is different. <laughs> Can we, are we even going to be able to join in? Are we going to be able to actually continue down this? No, we're still not in the faction because world tension is not, it's not at 40%. So I can't join. So there's nothing that I can do for the focus tree yet. All right, there's secularized the new state. Our stability is even lower, so we might as well improve working conditions. <laughs> the United Kingdom just declared war on the Netherlands. What? What? United Kingdom declared war on Iraq. What are you doing? Oh, wait, this is the interventionist UK. This is the one that wants to declare war on everything. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Well, that's going to spike up world tension a little bit. Oh, and Iran now. UK, what are you doing? Churchill, you feral dog, you. And now Livonia declares one Latvia. Everything went from peaceful to on fire almost instantaneously. If world tension could just get a little bit higher, if they could, if they could just conquer in the Netherlands, that they could take this territory. Oh my God, is the United Kingdom getting pushed out of the Netherlands? <laughs> they, they just got killed. You couldn't see it, but we know that their entire army just got killed here. <laughs> you are failing, good sir. Oh my God, Iraq is taking over Egypt. UK declares war on everyone. Fails. Canada now is seeking to escape from Britain. That is lovely. Uh, the British Raj is also getting eaten into by Iran because I'm pretty sure they have no troops or territory over here. But then over on my side, there is quite literally nothing that I can do. That, that we don't have any options because world tension somehow is still not high enough. So instead, we just have to suppress people. You know, you know just communism and oppression kind of goes hand in hand. Kingdom of Romania joins the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere, and Germany speaks out against the Soviet... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're going to Democratic Germany. Democratic Germany, which tries to build an alliance to take out the Soviets. The Soviets, which I now have to align myself with. <laughs> I can't join the faction. Wait a minute, I can't create a fa No, I can't create a faction. I can't create a faction because the SSR doesn't have a faction. It's not the common turn. No, I can't do anything. Oh, am I stuck? Am I straight up stuck at this point now where I can't do anything? I don't have a national spirit. I can't create a faction. I have to wait until the Soviets create some kind of faction, then join it. I am straight up stuck and can't do my focus tree. There's nothing to pick. Even as the world starts to burn to the ground, Livonia just took over Latvia. That's lovely. Greece is getting eaten by the Yugoslavians from the looks of it. And they just declared war on Estonia. There is literally nothing that I can do. Wait, I literally did this one. This is the same one that I did before. Ah, uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to sit here and wait for Germany to declare war on everyone else. And considering the fact that they're surrounded by um, the French communists on one side and the Soviet and the Polish communists on the other, I don't think that that's gonna go well for them. Oh, wait, Poland declares war on Polish. But wait, what, An another war? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. This is literally what I did a week ago. Wait a minute. This is literally what I did a week ago. They're weakening the communists. No, they're weakening the damn communists. 
I have never seen the AI be able to do that. I did think it was only possible because of what happened here. I genuinely don't know what's going to happen now. This is, this is legit terrifying. Because now Germany, Austria, Hungary, and what I'm guessing is going to be the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth are now all going to team up against the Soviets, which is going to be crazy. I literally do not have an option by which I will be able to get rid of my stuff to get rid of the effects from the Civil War because I can't get down to the five-year plan. <laughs> are you kidding? So I'm just going to be running this deficit the entire game. Yep, there's the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. That is... Okay, not gonna lie, I'm scared, but these maps are genuinely pretty. How has this happened in an ahistorical game? Could I potentially send volunteers to the Indian People's Republic and help them against the British Raj? Could I do something at there at least? Is the SSR, can we join the fa- No, they still don't have a faction. But they're justifying a war goal against the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. No, my God, why? Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna go over here to the Indie People's Republic. What else do they have? Intel, army-wise, eight to 20. What are these guys, five to 18? Yeah, this is gonna be a big difference that we could potentially make. So we're gonna go over here to the Indians and we're gonna see if we can help them. And hopefully, hopefully the British will not intervene. Send volunteers, I can send seven. Yep, see, the British are already sending in troops, so we need to get this fast. If we can take the port, we can drive the troops away, all the better. There we go, there's those wiped. Now push these guys, perfect, perfect. Is anyone else sending in any help? No, that's Indian help. Are they, are they receiving volunteers from anyone else or is it just me? Nope, it's just me. I'm the only force. It's the Spanish getting involved in everything, fucking up the world once again. You know, it's been a couple hundred years. Oh no, that's three of their divisions trapped. How tragic, how tragic. I never would have seen that coming. I never would have seen that coming. You know, we just, just go and seize it. Has the USR created a faction? No, it hasn't. Meaning I can't join in. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything still. Don't mind me, I'm just wiping out the British over here in India. That's the Spanish. Because I guess that all makes sense. French commune has joined the government of national defense. Wait, did they, did they have a faction? What is the faction? Is that, do they, are they a thing? Are they a thing? Oh my God, China. China is the faction leader. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Why? 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 What is going on? And now Italy is joining Japan. And Portugal just joined the co-prosperity street. Let a three-year-old control the Civil War, they said. It would be fun, they said. Actually, no, no one ever said it would be fun. Wait a minute, Portugal just declared war on me. Wait a minute, <laughs> you bastards. Now that means I lost all those units that I was over here helping the Indians with. They just got magically transported back over here. Great, 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 great. Hopefully, hopefully they hold a little bit, maybe? Because now Japan is joining against me. Great, and now Romania is my enemy, come on. You utter dick waffles. <laughs> Fine, you know what? We're going after you. You thought that you would go after me? No, 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 no. We, we are going after you. Which gives me another 24 divisions that I can convert over to this. Do I have enough infantry equipment? Probably not, no. But we're going to convert it anyway. We're going to get all this set. You genuinely thought that you'd be able to do that to me. You genuinely thought. Oh yeah, now Pakistan is declaring war on the People's Republic. Pakistan has joined the Allies. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah, uh, Portugal, I think that you fucked up. <laughs> I think you fucked up just a little bit. <laughs> Probably. Wait, now the UK is also declaring war on Italy. What is even going on? <laughs> Everything was looking so pretty and now it's insanity. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can join the Allies. <laughs> Why am I able to join the Allies? All right, hold on, 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 hold on. If I join the Allies, would I be able to get some help? Could I get some help? Does the CCP have a faction? Can I, can I create a faction? I don't have a national spirit to do so. I literally can't do anything. So I guess I might as well uh, join the Allies. Why am I in the Allies? And there goes Portugal, you, you, you freaking dumbass. All right, there we go. Let's just move and try and see if we can trap all the Italian units. There we go. There's a whole bunch of them trapped. Get these guys, wipe these guys out. Now Germany declares war on the French <laughs> No, no, please, no, no, I need, I need, I don't want to get my troops trapped here. Come on, come on, please, for the love of God, why? There we go. That's the majority of the Italian army trapped. All right. So we did get this. We do have this. They're completely cut off. We should be able to gradually break them down, I think. There we go. There's all the Mountaineer divisions. Yeah, Germany is going to completely crush through these guys. But the more of these units that we can destroy over here, the better. Because who exactly is Germany at war with? They're at war with all the communists. Great, 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 great. 
Uh, and can, can, is the Soviets going to do anything? The, the SSSSSSSR? No, they're just still justifying on Poland. <laughs> as soon as that happens, the war is going to get very interesting. Uh, Paris is also about to fall. I feel like I better go ahead and withdraw all of my units. Uh, cause yeah, I killed off a bunch of Italians, but, um, that, 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 that's going to be, that's going to be pretty bad for me. So let's go ahead and withdraw. Yeah. Cause there goes Paris. The Italians are probably going to move in at this point. So let's get the hell out. Good night, sweet prince. I, I barely knew you, but at least thanks to you, I got the freaking Portuguese. Are the British still fighting here? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait, wait, who is the CCP at war with? They're at war with the British. Wait a minute. Wait, they're at war with the... No, no. I'm in the Allies. I'm in the wrong faction. Why? Why? God damn it. No, I'm not accepting that call to arms. I'm not accepting that call to arms because I... I want to complete the focus tree, but they don't have a faction yet. Oh, God. Belgium and Germany eating the commie French. Uh one bad baguette yep there goes the french commune that's um now i'm just kind of stuck here waiting to waiting to see what happens because the soviets are now moving to secure their sphere <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to tell you the soviets but i think you're um i think you're already doing quite a lot and uh you're, you're probably gonna melt against the germans at this point the polish lithuanian commonwealth join the allies because the soviets are the <sighs> can i can i leave the faction can i leave is, is, is are you are you in a faction they're not in a faction. They still don't have a faction. There is no faction with the SSR. Uh, am I am I actually going to help kill the Soviets when I was supposed to join them? Yes. Yes, I will. I will have to. Let's let's see if I uh, can take my troops over there and actually start doing something, I think. I guess we're just going to have to do our classic thing that we seem to do every single episode, which just ends up with trying to wrap around Soviet divisions and destroy their front line. Because really, there's not much else for me to do now. There we go. There's more divisions trapped. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Just keep on breaking them down through. And then wait, hold on. Hold on. The Romanians. Oh, wait, I forgot. Romania was in the other thing that was also against me. God damn. There we go. There's the entire Southern Soviet force caught. I think I, I don't, I, <laughs> but I don't know what to do now. I really don't wait. Fall of Cairo. What is going on down here? Oh no. The Italians are actually making games. <laughs> And the Japanese are invading me. Wait a minute. What is with this dude on a bicycle? What are you doing? I didn't even realize the Japanese had invaded me. God damn it. God damn it. I, I, I can't genuinely believe that the Japanese somehow managed to invade the inner circle of the Mediterranean from the other side of the world. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how. There we go. Finally, finally, that's that army wiped out. God damn it. This is just a so much messier war than I ever anticipated. The fall of Leningrad. Oh, hey, hey, are they actually making some progress over here? I don't know, but millions are dying. Yes, there's the Romanian tank division caught. Excellent. Come on, wipe them out. Yes, this is the final push. Drive them out. Perfect. Romania capitulated. Fantastic. That means the southern front, front is now protected with, once again, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth being up here. And now we can start to move our troops elsewhere as Asia currently burns to the ground. Oh my god, wait a minute, they launched another invasion on me. When did you bastards launch another invasion on me? You morons keep on attacking and then losing all of the divisions that you land in the ports. I am so glad that I occasionally pay attention. Okay, now, now, now Siam and Turkey. Oh, Turkey joined the allies. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That means, yes, yes, my Turkish brothers attack from the south against the enemy that I was supposed to actually join in the first place. Every time I like start to get excited or think that I'm doing good, I realize that my game is actually completely screwed. There is no physical way for me to progress further along the focus tree because that's kind of what happens in a historical. Oh, hey, Finland's joined in on this side and Germany is naval invading from the north. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Are they also now at war with Germany? They're also at war with Germany. That's, wow. All right, well, I chose the, I chose the right side in history, I guess. You know, this is weird because of what is happening. This Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth is looking very similar to what I already did when I played the, my Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Oh, but there goes the SSR. Okay, well, I got, I got some points. Um, could, do, are they are they the only one that capitulated? Yeah, and you know what? I want I want some resources. You know, that's that's really all that I want. I just I just want to be able to come in here and take my oil and chromium and fuck off. That, yeah, I think I think I'm done over there. I don't, I don't care about doing anything else. The People's Republic of Spain now owns the Caucasus. They will never ever go through any kind of trouble or genocide or anything else ever again. 
Oh, who am I kidding? That seems to just be par for the course here. Am I still at war? Yeah, with Japan. With no actual real way to reach them or for anything to happen. So I, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's not really anything that I can do. I don't want to have to go after Japan at this point because that's just going to take forever to actually build up a navy or a force to be able to take them on and then launch a naval invasion. So I think I'm done. Yeah, ahistorical. You just, you kind of ruined everything for me. I got stuck with the focus tree and was not able to do anything past the initial stage of Soviet recovery. I couldn't puppet the French. I couldn't go after the Germans. I couldn't easily get Portugal, though I ultimately did end up getting Portugal. So there's that. But yeah, because Joya wanted to support Stalin, Stalin ended up getting kicked out of power anyway. So that was kind of pointless. Anyway, this has been Sakui. I played this way longer than I ever actually should have at this point since the game got ruined, but it was still fun if chaotic and stupid. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Please let me know in the comment section below what it is that we should do next, what you would like to see my daughter play, or maybe me play with my wife. I'm thinking at some point I'm going to do that My Little Pony mod that's in there for all you special degenerates. But thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, guys.